Okay, so this time of year, we're pulling all sorts of amperages and wattages because we're trying to keep ourselves warm. So we're using space here to even keep the fires going and forget things. It's Christmas time, we're using all sorts of electronics and gadgets. Everybody needs to check their smoke detectors. The smoke detectors have a date on them. On the very back, 10 years from that date, they're considered faulty. Changing out the batteries does not matter. So I'm about to teach you how to change your smoke detectors out completely on your own. But what you do is you grab the existing one up there to check the date, you turn it, you know, unlock it, and pull it down. This just always kind of pulls right out. There's always some latches sometimes on the sides, but oh yes, 2001. The smoke detector was faulty in 2011. So I think it's time to change it. But the existing one will come with a tail on it and two screws holding up a plate. Just loosen those screws. And link it. See so your plate inside. You will pull this piece out. You will have a white, a red, and a black tied to the same colors usually. Back in the day they had different colors, but the red going up into the ceiling is the one you're looking at. You disconnect your wire nuts. The red wire is the one that actually sends a signal to the other smoke detectors. So what the situation is, is it's called interconnected smoke detectors. When one goes off, they all have to go off. And you gotta think of it like this. If you're in your bedroom with the door shut, TV on, and a fire occurs down in your basement. By the way, you have to have one in every bedroom, every main hallway, and the basement and that. But if a fire occurs in your basement with your door shut, and even if you have a smoke detector everywhere they're supposed to be, if they're not interconnected, How's that one going to send a signal up to you, the one in your bedroom, if they're not interconnected? And you might not hear the one down in the basement. And before you know it, you're dropping through the floor. Interconnect smoke detectors are a very big deal. But once you get those taken off, your new one will come with a whip and it will have a cap over the red piece. You just pull that off, tie it to the red. The wires are already stripped for you. So you don't even have to strip white. Side by side, black, twist. Then you just shove it up in there, like so. You grab your bracket, your new bracket. There's holes, line the holes up with the screws, turn, lock it in, screw it, the place up to the ceiling, like so. Then you grab your new smoke detector, line it up and just push. It'll make a little beep. Put it up, lock it in, pull the tab, and that's how you install your smoke detectors. A four pack of smoke detectors is $50. I want your big service companies here. Ask them how much is it to install a smoke detector. If they tell you they need to come out to look, don't have them come out because they're scams because anybody knows how easy that is to install a smoke detector.